Hi everyone. So it's been uh, a long time coming for me to update the homecode.co.za website. I mean, we've got a new logo made by Nick Pidas, who's just absolutely amazing. And honestly, this one is kind of slow and clunky, and there's just way too much information all over the place. Uh, the, this typeface, the, the font just is not working for me. And, and like I say, it's it's pretty slow. It's built on WordPress at the moment. So we've got a link to the, the old YouTube channel, uh, teachingresources.ca.za, which I'm not really even using anymore. Okay, so the big idea was to have a much better performing website that really represents what home code is. That it's not just robotics lessons, home code robotics shops. Oh, man, that is just such a mess really wanted to be focusing on how we do education and how we do website development. And obviously in website development, it, it's got to look really, really good. So I looked at a whole bunch of different options and I've been loving the Jamstack uh, in terms of web development because it's you know, the static site generation, uh, using the APIs, using Netlify to deploy and, and how it links up so nicely with GitHub. So then uh, I went on to Vue, which I know is not specifically, uh, you know, Jamstack um, library or framework or anything like that but I, I just really wanted to, to learn Vue so I uh, moved on with that and why I did that is because uh, I really like how Nuxt looks and how it's uh, supported, uh, modular, very very performant, enjoyable and honestly I have enjoyed it so much. So I used Nuxt and let me show you what, what it's looking like at the moment. So this is what we've got uh, so far, let me come to the homepage over there used a really, really cool uh, library for, for doing the um, animation with the SVG over here. Uh, and what again, what I really like about Nuxt and, and obviously Vue is how modular it is, how we can use our components to, to put in, you know, just each and every uh, one of these parts that this just exists here, exists here and that the, the JavaScript is just here for it, uh, that we can scope the styles, which is just such a cool thing. So when I edit, you know, uh, an H1 that's over here uh, in this component, then I don't need to worry about it changing all of the other ones along the way. Uh, so let's look where we are so far. We've got the education side, which is the blog, coding and robotics store, and online coding courses. And then that links really just down there. So if we go to um, online coding courses, then it just pulls us down over here so we can look at the Space Explorers coding course for kids, uh, coding with your teaching free tools, uh, lessons that obviously links across over there. And this is pretty cool. Uh, don't, I haven't moved across all of my blog posts just yet, but using the, the content um, module, I suppose it would be called module in Nuxt, has been so super duper cool. And I've I haven't written in Markdown a whole lot before, but it's been so cool doing that. So you can see there are still just some dummy ones that aren't uh, filled, but stuff like be a brave, brave parent digitally. Did you see how quickly that loaded, by the way? Oh, that's cool. Um, and here we go, moved across, decided to just take out a lot of the images and things, thinking that if people are going this far into reading and exploring and it's going to be on your mobile, want it to be very, very quick, don't want it to, to bog it down just with, you know, random um, images. I plan uh, eventually to be making videos for each of these as well. Let me show you something really cool. I just double click this page and then bam, I've got access to the markdown file where I can live update it and then it saves the file. It saves the markdown file over here. So a very, very cool way of live editing. Um, they sort out when you do a, a next create app through the um, through NPX. Then it just pulls in all of this. I haven't gotten rid of a lot of it yet. Layouts I'm not really using. Am I using it even? No, I don't think I'm even using layouts. I suppose I am a little bit. Um, but all of the readme files are still got in there. What's really nice is you make a page and then it uh, automatically creates that, uh, roots that. So you don't need to worry about view router as well. Uh, static sites, I've still got to generate a few things for or static. I've got to generate a few things in there. But yeah, just the way that it pulls across is just so, so nice. You just create your component and then you uh, pull it in over here. Okay, so there's the education information component. And then on the education page over here, then I just need to drop it. I don't need to worry about importing the components or, or anything like that. Okay, so what still needs to happen? Well, geez, I like get a lot. 
Uh, first thing that I want to do is just move kind of preview things. I'll put some preview things down here. So quick access to the blog, quick access again to the contact form. This is that the action button. I'm, I'm going to change the wording over here um, where we're, we're all about. What's our new phrasing? Um, yeah, uh, life is better with tech. So this will be a life is better with uh, and education and tech, I don't know, we'll word that nicely, but this will be the action. There's going to be a whole separate contact form, a whole separate page as the contact form, which will just be really nice and customized and everything like that. Web development is empty at the moment. Got a few animations that I want to pull through in there. Some examples that I've done for bakeries like Prince of Tarts, uh, also a web app that I made for them. And what were some of the other ones that I wanted to bring in? Oh, uh, a wave app that I made called Today Always, which I want to redo in the Jamstack because it's running on a, yeah, it's a, it's a Node app at the moment, uh, running through Heroku. And yeah, I think that that's pretty much it. So if you are watching this, if you've got some cool ideas for it, then please do let me know if you've spotted a way that I just haven't used Nux very nicely and I am still learning and going to continue to, please do let me know in the comments. Oh, but before I go, uh, if you are interested in getting your website done or you just want to chat to me about this, please do let me know in the comments. Otherwise, find me on Facebook, uh, still there at Home Code George. And yeah, let, let's chat about it. Thanks and bye.